Kendrick! <laughs> just f with you, just f with you. Kendrick! <laughs> just fucking with you, just fucking with you. No J UFC has been an incredible event. So many celebrities, so many recognizable faces, including Terrence Bud Crawford showing up. Wait a second, what's that? Kendrick Lamar? What? I see his head, everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> Doc. Who's my dad? You, your father's Drake. You're gonna be rich. It's good. Yes! Where's Champagne Father? Oh, here he is, right here. Hey, Dad, it's me. It's, why, why are you looking at me like that? Doc, move. Let, let me hug him. Doc, get off me. Dad. Dad, I'm, it's, it's your son. Love me. It feels like Kendrick Lamar is telling a bigger story, even on his Instagram. If you go on Instagram, 616 in LA is not on streaming. This new song he just dropped is also not on streaming, but you can go listen to it on Instagram. Even the color scheme of the three pictures that are up, like when you click on his reels, like the cover photo he chose, the one with the meet the grams and the black glove and the red background. And then the next one is his announcement for the Super Bowl. It's got the flag and like red and white real big in the back. And then this new song he just dropped, it's Black Air Force Ones. Now, I don't know why looking at those three reels put together, and the like it's just those three reels and then the like the first one being 616 in LA a song that's not on streaming services this new song not on streaming 616 in LA is Kendrick basically letting us know that this was bigger than Drake that was him talking to God and this new song that he just dropped tonight feels like 616 in LA and Meet the Grams had a baby the way he's talking to God while calling out the industry Kendrick Lamar is like telling us a story and it's on Instagram, but it's not on his Instagram story. It's on his Instagram reels. Like, I could be wrong, but that's the vibe I'm getting. It feels like Kendrick Lamar is telling a bigger story, even on his Instagram. My left stroke just went by. You can't keep getting away with it. Baby in the spiral. Soprano C, we like to keep it. You can't keep getting away with it. It's levels to it. You Okay. I get why y'all mad. Y'all really believe that Lil Wayne should do the Super Bowl because he is from New Orleans. Y'all ain't noticed that the Super Bowl don't pick the halftime entertainer based off where they from? Granted, we know Wayne. We know he a legend. We know he's iconic. But what the fuck has he done for you lately? Kendrick literally gave us a diss anthem that we have been listening to since May. And peep game, the song is so damn powerful, he literally has people from the other side of the fence who the song is about rapping the lyrics to the song. I mean, come on now. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but it is what it is. gonna let Kendrick get away with calling Drake a PDF file at the Super Bowl <laughs> right what's your two cents on Kendrick Lamar doing the halftime show in New Orleans for the Super Bowl especially knowing like Lil Weezy from New Orleans I mean that that's the thing yeah, I mean it was a choice I think Kendrick deserves the, as a solo artist right now he's the guy yeah. the, uh, my question to you is uh -huh. how you feel about the beefing I think it's good for the culture yeah, you wouldn't have look yeah, you wouldn't have they both both Drake and Kendrick produce quality music faster. Mm -hmm. uh, Wax said it's Drake's fault that Kendrick got the Super Bowl halftime show over Lil Wayne, and Kendrick's face being whacked out on the mural could cause some major problems, and they're flying in a thousand deep on 2747. Hey. If, the, if the city is approved of everybody on the list, the NFL gonna pick who they want to put there anyway. And they're gonna make the pick out of that. I think, bro, gonna make the pick blame Drake. That. Without Drake, Kendrick would have never been the factor for this. He the one got him hot. He lost Ooh, the I said that. You the one got him hot? Oh, man. He, he didn't get him hot. He didn't get him hot. He smoked him in a battle. He didn't get him hot. He smoked him in a battle. He handled his business. That's not getting him hot. Say what you want. Say no, what I want. Nothing. Y'all got to stop doing that. That's not getting him hot. He handled his business. Hold on, y'all. Y'all hear trap talking. Say what you want. Hey, dynamite.
Turn to a million, then we all. No way he could do it when we break the code. No way he could break when they on patrol. No way be the last one out to get the No way. Hit the streets and we break the code. No way hit the brakes when they on patrol. Charles don't care my bike, Charles don't care my bike. Holidays are made for me to chill and not to cook and not to clean. I know the house is filthy, dirty, but today I'm yelling. Charles don't care my bike, Charles don't care my bike, Charles don't care my bike, Charles don't care my bike. Drake will be Ja Rude. If Kendrick Lamar perform at the Super Bowl, Drake will be Ja Rude. And Universal Music Group and Cash Money Records, they know it. That's why they're going to fight tooth and nail for Kendrick Lamar not to perform that song. And they're going to push the narrative of Lil Wayne performing at the Super Bowl. How much of that $400 million mega deal you think Cash Money going to get? Lil Wayne is not a better performer than Kendrick Lamar. Now, Lil Wayne may be a better touring performer because he's a rock star. But as far as the experience builder, man... Kendrick Lamar is an artist. Mess around Kendrick Lamar, you might get a whole show of They Not Like Us. In Universal Music Group, they know that.